Where have I put it? I swear I brought it in this room with me. Oh, hey guys, yeah, sorry. Um, I kind of lost my creativity and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what to do for this introduction as a result. Like, this will be funny. Look, I, I have a hat. Look, inside the hat is the logo. Ah, uh, is, is that a good intro? Is I'm trying here, man. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. I don't know what that was. Please don't ask. What I do know is that this is another episode of three random games. And it's that game series where we play all... Wait, what? What? We play three random games from the internet or within the confinements of this singular video. If you guys want to see what else can be pulled out of that hat in another video, you better go ahead and smash that like button. Let's get game number one. This first game we're playing is called Entity Room. It's given me some like SCP vibes, even though I don't think it's actually set within that universe, though I'd love to be proved wrong. Bro, I love SCP. February the 18th, 1987, press any key. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Oh, we even make the dreaded walk. Come through this door, close it behind us. Look, but, but, swing with our head. I have to use flashlight. Why should I be using that? Everything looks fine, though. What are you talking about? We got that vintage GoPro on, though? Like, that's how we're filming this stuff? But working at some kind of high containment sector, it does make sense that if we're working at a somewhat dangerous job, maybe they'd equip us with that thing. Maybe it's all good. What is this place? Hold up. Looks like a nuclear bunker, though. I see a oh, radiation sign. I hope I'm wearing a hazmat suit. This door doesn't want to be opened. Fine by me. I'm glad. Listen, if something's trapped within there and doesn't want to kill me, that's cool. That's all cool, man. This, oh, okay, this might be my floor. This door's left open. Hang on, before I even go through that, I'm gonna try and see if I can steal things. Shout, we got boxes, and we got nothing I can steal. Okay, new shift, new place. Who the freak closed that, man? These things, they're set on timers, right? I must've just walked through in time. Okay, uh, lots of sealed off things. I don't wanna turn those valves. Janitor? Bro, what the freak is that? Well, what the hell, boy? Okay, I don't like what I'm seeing around here. Dented walls, trashed up things. Let me just go in this room. Hey, what is this sector? Am I here to clean up? What is this? We've got like a bed in here. It's like a workstation. Shelves, what's that though? Hold up. I don't want to take the Nokia. Can we use any of this? We can't use any of this. Do I want to use this? Hack the computer. Wait, yo, should I be doing that though? Like one minute is telling me I can take the mop and broom. Next is telling me I can, uh... What, go ahead and mess with the computer? Do I, do I want to clean this thing? What have you been doing in there? What have you been playing? Are you been dropping your food? Come on, dude. Okay, I'm putting that thing back. I'm not doing that. What going on? No, huh? Look, we got death icons all above this. Maybe we should just interact with the computer. We've got email, CCTV, and doors. Entity room. Op. Ah. So I'm here. Just looking. Okay, you know what? I'm glad about it. That actually made me jump. I'm, I am I can't believe I'm out. We can't look at operator. We can see these three rooms here. There's someone in there. They don't look too happy. Maybe this is set in the SCP universe. That's the thumping then. Ah, room number one. Quiet in that room, please. We've seen those doors in, out. We can open. Ooh, yo, that feels mean. No, let me check those emails before I do anything. ERF description. This is an automatic email. Do not reply. Description of entity 014. Highly dangerous of terrestrial origin. At bipedal, uncanny human-like appearance. Skin does not reflect light. Glowing red eyes. Body mass consists mostly of human meat. Develops more human-like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. Extremely agile and can jump a far distances. We got some incidents here as well. On the 04 of the 8, total power failure resulting in E014 escaping the room and killing the operator. They redacted that one, but they didn't want to see what else went down. Disclaimer, by partaking in this operation, you agree that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. Okay, so we are basically in SCP Universe in a different universe. Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you, so your job is actually pretty easy. The Entity needs to be fed at once a day with exactly one prisoner. To do that, just open the door R1 in through your computer. After it's eaten, the respective room then needs to be cleaned. Open door R1 out through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you will get used to it. First, throw the body parts, if there are any left, <laughs> winky face, into the container, then clean. Best regards, Matt. All right, Matt, thanks for that. So we open this. Dude, I am literally the executioner. So Can I look in room one? Yo! Um! I mean, the compound is being kind, right? Uh, did we? Is that good? You can see the monster going back in. So now we open it out, and I also peace out. Dude, I am glad we can't open this door. Ah! Really got me. That really- that li I thought my heart was just beating an extra beat that time, guys. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, dude. 
He was thumping his head, right? No wonder I should remove the body parts. Okay. <laughs> what even is that, dude? What even? I don't know. I don't know what that is, bro. That looks like a stomach. So the monster wanted to eat him, but it didn't want to eat the, uh, you know, the thing that he ate this morning. Okay, guys. Uh, that's great. Go ahead. I should remove. Wait. Oh, of course, silly me. There's a leg down there. Casual calf muscle. Well, that could be the. That could be the bicep. I don't know. Clean it up. Um. Thinking about resigning, you know, maybe I like my old post a little bit better. But our character is getting the job done. And no real response. Do I go up to this door? Hello? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go and, uh, you know, close that door pronto. I, I don't like my job anymore, you know. <laughs> close that door too. Not that that's gonna really save me. Please help me. Could we open in as well? Close that one. Is that the end of our day then? New email. Okay, description just here. Good job. Looks like you're a natural. Winky face again. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays, they even have a night vision mode. Pretty cool. By the way, in case you were wondering what the entity is eating, the CCTV is offline. We don't want our operations to be... I mean, that's fair. I would be disgusted. Anyway, you're done for the day. You and go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. So we are sealed down here like this, bro. I'll get some nap. Can I really sleep after doing that though? Bro, I would be insomnia immediately activated if I was doing this whole job. I could never do this though. Hmm. Wait, what is that on the ceiling? Is that just something normal? Hold on, let me see. Okay, we've got pipes that look like people in hazmat suits. No problem. At what time is it though? Lights broken, brain broken, disturbed, scared. Wait, the light down. Hey, uh, management, can we get the light situation figured down here? Especially with that entity, should we go up? Hey, bud, how you doing? Hello? Power failure. You probably saw that the lights aren't even working. Don't worry, it's basic maintenance on one of our electricity generators, and it's just the lights. Everything else still works fine, and just use your flashlight. Today will be similar to yesterday. Press the R2 in and to open the door. So we are feeding these up. The entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. Winky face. Dude, what kind of job is this? Can we check on room number two? I, I think that man's dead. He hasn't moved anyway, so, you know, I actually have no remorse. Ah, there you go. You go ahead and enjoy that snack, bud. Let's listen. Oh, uh, I think I was wrong. I am now convinced that our man is probably dead. He was alive. Okay, great. I love my job. I love my, uh, I love my life. I, I love my life. Why am I working this shift? Seriously. Why would I want- Oh, my- He's getting hungry for the man who's feeding him. You know, I I'm quenching your hunger, man. What the heck? What? Dude, what have I got in my hand? I'm holding it like nunchucks. Did you see that? I th he only left two pieces. He was a hungry boy today. Much more hungry. Dude, I'm starting to get paranoid. Like, behind my back, is something going to be uh, doing its thing? Will that monster find a way into my room? He knows that's where the freshest meat is like. Maybe it feeds off of those who get scared more. Like, I'm worried going back down here. All right, cool. Like, this doesn't bode well. That makes me think that maybe something happened before to another prisoner. I don't know, so definitely close that one. Good job again, dude. You really are a natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people were feeding to the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Winky face. Anyway, our research on entity 014 could lead to breakthroughs, just not for the military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when you're doing your work and you're done for the day. All right, let's uh, sleep again, huh? I somehow sleep again. Already feeling like though the entity is slowly realizing that there is more food on the other side of that door. Maybe one person a day isn't an enough. Wait. <gasps> this better that better be a dream. That better be a dream. Get out of bed now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They're all closed. They're all closed. Day three. Day three, not that exciting now, is it? Usually, that's the point where your work is becoming boring routine. Winky face. You probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, eat that, take a crap. Whoa, he's, he's listening all kind of things we might want to do. It is important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. Anyway, tomorrow, a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat, winky face. Don't worry, they're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. Dude, I... Listen, Matt, best regards and all that good stuff. I think the entity's about to eat me. Am I a prisoner? Have I have I suffered some kind of memory loss? Look, it's like we're having nightmares about one of these cells now being open, like the beast coming through. So I, I'm gonna close that door. Maybe he's quite stupid. I don't know. Just, look, dude, what 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 more can we do? What more can we do, right? Just give him his dindins, right? 
We're also doing unspeakable things when we do that. Can that please close now? <laughs> what is... The freak is all that? What did all... Wait, what? Where the heck did all that come from? Hold up, I got questions. Hello? Don't kill me? Wait, what? Did we see that on that? That was not the same. I'll take this leg. Listen. Hum, hum, hum. See, monster, we're the same. You don't need to kill your own kind. Don't know what that is. Uh, what I know is that it's going with uh, all the other unrecognizable body parts, though. Brain wasn't the thinking kind. Hey, bud. How you doing? You don't want the brain? You don't want the brain? You don't want to play go, you know, go fetch? Stuff like that. <sighs> Just trying to be friends with this monster. I don't want to die. Oh, he left the head. Why? Why did he leave the head? Last task. I kind of don't like the fact that these screens turn black. Because something could be happening during this time period, and we don't see it. But it didn't. But it didn't. And that's the most important thing to remember. So we did our shift. I'm worried about, like, when we sleep. Are we a part of this test subject? And we haven't realized yet. That's... All right. I think we're done. Matt didn't even message us today. So what, what's going down, bro? What we're going on? Just sleep. Don't even think. Empty thoughts. Just do. Simple as. And what happens tonight? The fresh prisons, do they arrive? Is it a continual loop forever? We wake up. Okay, sure. Nothing to be alarmed about yet. Keyword, yet. Another new email. Read this. <laughs> you know, I hate being right with these games. I knew there was a plan here. Matt was the goat. He tried warning us, but by the time we read that email, it was too late. Bro, what the heck? It burst down those doors. This was all part of the experimentation room. We were probably also being studied by those guys at the same time to see what happens to us. You know, like you had the prisoners, you had the monster, and then there was us. Like, what were we thinking? What were we feeling? Emotional responses. Those emotional responses messed up. <laughs> This second game is called ROV. Content warning, thalassophobia, and submechanophobia. That's kind of why I'm playing this game, guys. Two things I do not like. Let's go ahead and see what happens in ROV or Ralph. Bro, what the freak are these controls? This is some Cthulhu-like bullcrap. Directive, collect samples of growths on riser. What the freak? Manipulate a clause. What do you want me to do with my hands? What, am I playing like this, though? Elbow extension, rotate extend. Oh my gosh. Yo, I can bet. Can I, can I move that camera, though? Can I see my hand? Hey, how's it going? We can rotate like that. Guys, it's going to take some getting used to. Lots of controls, man. They make it very intricate, so we can move like that. Then we've got, uh, I think, control and alt to rise up and down. So, okay, I mean, I say it was difficult, but we've uh, kind of got this under control, right? So this pot, you see that that's open. This is our uh, little robotic arm. Oh, we got that 360 degree Exorcist neck. All right, and we've got different cameras. I think there's a different one there. So we are collecting samples from the riser. I don't see anything though. What are you talking about? And let's wait, is that it down there? Hold up. So straight the arm out, okay. We wanna like reach forward kind of thing. How do we, bro, how do we do this? Oh my gosh, I think that's it there though. Wait, we're rotating something. Hang on, let me just see that again. As it rotates around. Bro, how the freak am I doing this? This, uh, this is so complicated. Wait, look, it's doing something. I think we're bringing it closer. Definitely bringing it closer. Okay, so we've got that figured out. Good. Now, I can see something down the base in there, like a reflective source. Bring it up nice and high. I think... Ugh. This is a weird concept for a game, but I do kind of get it. Why, you know, this would be kind of freaky. Raise the arm up. Just like this. Okay, so why is it still going up, though? You stay there. Change to camera when we get a little bit of a closer look at that. So we need to pick it off of there and place it in that container there. Down. Then we want to... We want to raise that kind of forward a little bit. It's like, it kind of moves up with it. I don't even know if that's the sample point that it's talking about. I'm not sure. Like this? Am I getting this right, though? Like, I'm kind of reaching for this thing. I feel it. Is, is that good? Like, gripping distance? I don't know. I can see my little grabby fingies. I don't know if I'm right with that. Bro, I'm miles away. What the heck's going on? Okay, now we're bringing it closer. But is that, like, on the hand? That's basically on the hand, dude. Okay, let's try and see if we can do this now. Let me just lower this. I don't... Guys, I don't know what the heck I'm doing right now. I'm so confused. I can always raise this thing back up if need be. Like, what am I looking for on this, dude? This is so strange. I have no idea. I see nothing wrong with this. I don't know what you're talking about, mass. This does make me feel weird, like... As I'm dropping this device or whatever, and it's just continually moving down, like... How deep is the ocean, bro? So that must be our bottom... It's weird. I guess this... Oh, wait. I get what's happening. So this pole is still... We're on a moving platform and we're moving down. That's what's happening. Okay, now that makes me even more terrified. I wonder if there's, like, gonna be something out there that might, you know, 
come for us at some point. <laughs> I don't want to think things like that, though. Okay, we see the weird door thing. I don't know, maybe if something else is nearby. Like, I'm trying to rotate this thing. It's hard, though. It feels like... Like, what's going on, bro? I'm about to hit that thing. Look, my, I broke my hand. There's something there. Do we see that? Like, that red gr glowing thing? That seems like that might be of importance. I don't really understand the whole rotating thing. It doesn't really do what I'm asking it to do. It just kind of goes forwards and backwards. But I think that there might be the first weird thing. Try and go forward on it. Maybe we can reach it from here. That definitely looks odd. Like, it looks like some kind of growth. So we rotate this arm like so. We're going to have to use all of this, bro. Is this what it's like operating these machines? Complex stuff. No, don't move down. What are you doing? Very strange. It's like when I press alt, which is what I need to do, it also moves this down with it. I don't know why it's doing that. That's very weird. You mind if I just take some of this growth from you, though, bud? You mind if I just snitch that bit there? Is that good? Ah, uh, just out of reach, man. Closing, closing. There you go. Can we close it on that now? Is that not good? I gotta go lower, it seems like. Maybe down here? Yeah, that's definitely kind of messed up. But that, that doesn't look right. You see all that? Then we gotta rotate ourselves to, uh, I guess, meet up with this thing, bro. This I feel like a three-year-old. Give me some of that. Give me some of that growth, bud. Can I take this, though? I feel like that's it. Like, I'm not grabbing on it, bro. It's so hard. Use that different camera angle. We can see top down. You can see I'm still far away. Like, I didn't know that, though. Oh, yeah, I'm up on it now. I'm up on that growth now. You can even see the hands, like, they're getting stuck on that. Whoa, whoa, okay, I think I broke my arm. Just pinch that. Pinch that bit off the end, look. Snip it off. Pull it with you. Like this? Right here, bro. Right here, bro. Have I got that? How have I not got that? I don't really understand what's happening, bro. This, this game is weird. It's like, is that why I need that spinny thing? I feel like that's good. I don't, bro. I don't have it. This is so, oh, my gosh. This is, like, agitating, bro. I can't get the right grip on it. Open that out. Forward a Like, it's not quite there. That's it. That's perfect. I got it. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't drop. I mean, I could drop that here, right? That would be good. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Guys, how'd I do that? I don't know. I don't believe it. I actually just did that. Yes. Woo. I'm partying. This is a hard job. Is that another growth down there? Then let me zoom in on that. Hey, are you a growth down there, bro? The freak are you? Close up on that. You're on camera. This game is actually hard. Like, this is more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. Maybe the controls will, like, click. I don't know. I don't know. Is that the growth? Is, is that just the whole growth right there, though? Let me just back it up a second. Maybe that's, like, the, uh... I don't know, that growth may be taken care of. It says sample 2, DPT 6574. Wait, we're at 6506. Okay, that makes more sense. So I got to descend. 6574. We'll get this, man. We'll get this. I'm too committed now to this game. Got our two camera angles. That's Oh, that's an ominous one. You can see down, bro. That is making me feel a little bit like... Oh, I, I can't really explain it. That's an odd sensation, though. So 6574. Bro, we're 6,500 meters below sea level, and we're hearing that. I don't think that was my machinery breaking, so now I have I have concerns, to be honest. I think that might be a monster. Just kidding. We're definitely alone down here. Just kidding. There's a monster coming to eat us. Okay, so we're about where we need to be in terms of depth. Uh, I don't see anything that side, so we're going to have to rotate around, I think, if we can even manage to position this up. This might take a while. So what about if I angle myself like this, then go forward? And then we'll rotate now, I guess, to try and see if we can see anything here. Like, that's the only way I'm thinking about I can explore this. Nothing there, so maybe we've got to go all the way around to the other side of this guy first. There it is. I see you. I got you on camera. Okay, it's starting to flow now that I've got the controls locked down. It's so weird, though. I want to use, like, my mouse, but you can't. Like, you've got to do this manually. This must this must be what it feels like. Working on these uh, strange missions where you extract things from alien substances on, you know, this sort of thing. Hopefully this doesn't happen in real life. Okay, then we're going to rotate. We got, yeah, that's a pretty good view of this. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this one. Let's just fix the camera angle up so we can see this uh maybe we want to drop down just a little bit here that's pretty good okay let's see what we can do with this let's see what that arm do hmm it's, looks like it's a bit out of reach even still maybe we, i still don't know why it does that double extension thing like that it's very very weird rotate in on it go into it look i'm in i'm literally inside the the, the machine i don't care physics don't really matter guys look but hey i disconnected you hey how you doing how you doing friend so now we just want to take the sample right this way Bring it down. We want to... Oh, this is going to be tricky to line up. Is that good? Is that good? It might be good. It's not good, bro. I can see. I can see. It's like you got to be painstakingly precise with this. So we're nudging it. Okay, let's try that again a little bit more. We're we're definitely close, bro. I can literally... I can feel that thing in my little uh, my little grabby thing. Second camera angle is broke, so it's literally unhelpful. I got it. I, no, I, I don't got it. Why haven't I got it, though? I feel like I should have it by now. My ghost sample. Yes. My scary sample. I have you. Don't break. Don't break the arm now. Don't do... No. Just put it in there. Gently does it now. Gently does it. 
No, wrong one. Like that? Is that in there? That feel, I feel like, there you go. Oh, 6615. I want us to descend even deeper. Great. Definitely not scared at all. Definitely happy with my uh, my life choices. What is that? What is that? Bro? What is that? Huh? At least we're seeing it through the eyes of uh, a robot instead of us actually having to be the one descending. I mean, you would it would take so long to get back above surface because the water pressure, you have to like re-compression or whatever the term is, your body with this when you're done. Hey, we're here. I'm still, I'm kind of like the same level as that thing though. That's kind of weird. You see that? Yeah, it's like your body kind of gets used to the atmosphere at the different pressures. So if you just like, if you zoom out to the top and you're like hundreds of meters deep, you'll probably die instantly. Like that's just the way the body works, bro. Don't mess with it. Look on the pipe. I see nothing on the pipe though. That's like, this is kind of clean at this level. We're 6615. So we're at the level it wants us to be at. Let's rotate around the whole of this thing, I guess. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that that's all the way over there and I'm all the way over here. It's like it wants us to uh, drift away from this to it. Like, there's nothing on the device itself. I don't like this, man. We're being led somewhere. That's what it feels like. Are we, do we even need to get that third one? You know what I'm trying to say, bro? This this machine looks kind of clean, though. Top down. I'm feeling weird, bro. I actually feel a bit sick. This is actually very weird for me. I think that's what we're going to. Guys, I really do feel like it wants us to go this way. Like, go get your sample. That's the job, right? Let's move the hand. I'm actually nervous about this. Actually, no. I think it. Am I doing this right, bro? Am I getting close to it? I don't know. Like, it, I'm making progression, I think. I think I'm actually closing in on it. Maybe? Can I zoom in? What is that? It's just like it's like a tendril. It's just one single thing, like, hovering out there. Let's go get our sample, right? Let's, let's go do this mission. Let's finish this. Let's go home. Wait. like one of those angler fish things, right? With the little, uh, little dangly thing, bro. Oh, I'm glad that, that machinery got broken up, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad now I can take off the headset, stop messing with that machinery, and just focus on living. That was actually uncomfortable and really well made. Kudos to the developer. <laughs> This final game is called The Microwave Paradox. It comes from the same developer who made the other game about like feeding George. If you guys remember that thing, it was weird. It involved lasagna and a monster. End of story. Does it translate over? It's just another weird game. A very big microwave producing company provided you the super microwave for testing purposes. Now you are going to test your new microwave with different types of food. 50K likes and I'll do a video microwaving different foods. I'm actually serious. Okay, let's uh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold up, hold up. This is the same house as the one with George like in lasagna. No, it's not. It look, just looks very similar. Hello? Hello. Thanks for agreement to participate in our super microwave test. Uh -huh. Look how big we my... hope you will get the best experience with your super microwave. Thank you. In order to get better so experience, we recommend you to watch the video tutorial, which okay. will teach you how to use the microwave Ooh. provided by our company. Redacted. You want us to watch a tape about how to use a microwave? Does it not come with a manual that I can read? Where we live in? Like a busy street? We see all this? Uh, and all these people with their lights on. Power drain central. So we have a VHS. It came with our microwave. This must be it right here. And we pop it in the tape player, right? Just down here. Can I can I reach hello? How do I how do I crouch in this game? My knees have stopped working. Do I gotta do I gotta throw it in like this? I think I might have to throw it in like that. Okay, I don't have to throw it in like that. I've forgotten how to watch a tape. Bro, I, I can't remember how this thing works. Is it like that? Wait, wait. I, I think I broke the game. <laughs> Do I really need this, the tutorial though? I feel like I know what's going on. It's a microwave. Okay, let's put the Big Mac in the microwave. What's it gonna do? It's gonna warm our Big Mac. We're gonna get a nice piping hot Big Mac. That's all we get. Wait, it's, I mean, ooh, wow. Burger turned into burger. Donut. Did I, ooh, did I, donut? What does, what does donut turn into? Ooh, I'm gonna microwave the root beer next. It's just a game where we're a six-year-old. POV, you are a six-year-old. Microwaving things. I have donut and Big Mac. Now I have donut and Big Mac on floor. This one looks good. Whoa. Wait, uh, hello? Turn that off, maybe? Why is this getting kind of, bro, this is scary. <laughs> this is actually kind of scary. I should have microwaved the VHS. Oh. Okay, that donut did the same as the other donut. That was a, a lackluster experience. Now this is where we start getting a bit funky. Ooh, no, I am backing up. I'm posting up. You know, I am not standing, that thing might explode. Pressurized bottle, check. Wait, it didn't do anything. It, it didn't. Okay, so we've microwaved lots of donuts. Let's, you know what, let's do the other one. Let's just put it in there whilst I look for other things that are gonna be fun to microwave. Can we microwave the VHS? Yes, we have it. What do we got in here? 
Can I microwave the doo doo? Can I? Mi oh man, I mean, I gotta go soon though. So, <laughs> ain't out of the woods. Okay, now this is even weirder. This is like, this is very strange. Okay, can we can we not microwave this though? Come on, dude. Seriously, I'm trying to microwave that. Oh, we can play the, the tape. Super microwave can become your best friend. It already it is. It can help you to make your food better. It can oh. even watch a movie with you. Look, it's me. Wait. You have absolutely no reason <laughs> to not to trust your microwave. Okay. Attention, microwaves cannot talk. Okay. If your microwave started to talk with you, then follow next steps. I ain't... First, make sure Ooh. there is nobody hidden inside the microwave. Okay. Because microwaves Check. don't talk itself. Uh -huh. Second, try to isolate uh. yourself from the super microwave. Yo, why it is am I better to shivers? lock all your house doors and Got put it. the super microwave outside. Yeah, we don't want that in. Don't That's worry, us. your life is safe now. Okay. And finally, try uh -huh. not to talk and interact with microwaves. Oh. Some aspects of the effect okay. of microwaves on humans are not yet fully understood. Well, that's not good, is it? It's really not good, guys. I've been talking to my microwave for like four minutes. You're not a demon in there, are you, right? You're a good guy. That's kind of scary. Like, what if I have that, that thing tries to kill me? What if I have it tries to microwave me in my sleep? I want to microwave this, by the way. Wait. Whoa, did I just see something? Am I, am I tripping out? Did I just see something like poking around the corner there? I'm hallucinating. I thought my microwave was living. Okay, gonna microwave my, uh, my thing. It didn't do anything, bro. What is happening? How do I eat things? I have so many things that I now want to eat, like the Big Mac. How do I eat the Big Mac? I don't get it. Into the trash bin? Like, is that what I'm trying to do with all this food? This is just, it's gone bad. Okay, my trash bin is actually the scariest thing. It's got some levitational action. Look at that. Man, gonna microwave this. Microwave this, but I know. No! 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 I knew putting the pressurized container in there was you a bad broken idea. The microwave, How do you know? Company provided to you in testing purposes. How do you know that? Huh? You are a pathetic and worthless person. Oh, bro, you don't again. deserve to own our super microwave. Do you our stay? Sales manager I hate you too. Will now come to your house and take your life as a fine. What? Where's my, where's my shotgun? Where is my shotgun? Oh, I'm jumping out this window. Wait. Uh. What? He was in the. Oh my gosh, he's right, my girl. Ah! What happened to you, sir? His report. He's got the draft neck. Oh my god! Nah, 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 nah. Nah, you, you can never get me. Say, dude, for the door. Run out. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Look, juke him out. Look. Let's go. Let's go. It's weird. Look. Take my juice. Take my juice. You ready for this? Take that to your face. You know, I'm gonna die in my favorite room. Whatever, whatever. Look. At least I can sit on the throne and get taken out like a true king, and I'm dead. And that's the microwave paradox? Wait, what? I don't get it. Do we now become the thing in the microwave? Don't tell me it's gonna... I think we then got microwaved and we became the next salesperson. And that is that. Interesting. Very, uh... Very interesting. Alright though guys, that is gonna do it for this episode of Three Random Games. Definitely some interesting ones. There's some mechanophobia style game. Like, it took a while to get used to those weird controls, but man, it was atmospheric in like the weirdest way. If you guys want to play any of these games for yourself though, you can check that link in the description down below. But that's gonna be it for this episode and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like crate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video guys. Of course, hope you did enjoy. If we've learned anything, don't work in an SCP laboratory. Don't operate a crane arm under the oceanic floor and also don't do whatever we did in that last game. Microwave, I guess, like bottles or something.